Hi guys, so as you can see, I'm all packed up, ready to go. I'm just about to head out the door because we are going to Paris for a few days, which I'm so excited about. I'm going with my mum, it's her birthday, so I thought I'd treat her to a little weekend away and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So we just arrived in Paris and we just checked into the hotel, so I thought we'd give you a little tour of the room. So this is the hallway, this beautiful green carpet and some cupboardy type things here. And there's a separate toilet and then you have a bathroom, this beautiful bath. In case you couldn't guess, we're staying at Le Burgundy Paris. First time here, but it looked really pretty from the photos. It is really, really beautiful. Nice shower and then some very plush looking robes. And then you kind of walk in, and then this beautiful room. So, so pretty. And they left out some little treats for us on the table as well, which is so nice. And then you can't see because my mum's coat is covering it, but beautiful pink chair as well. I love the color scheme. It reminds me of a bar that Harvey Nicks used to have in London. It was like bright pink and bright green, so, so nice. And this is the room, so nice. And it's actually quite decently sized for Paris because Paris is just notorious for their extremely small room sizes. So this is actually a very, very good size. The bed looks so comfy, I'm really quite tired. I'm quite tempted for a nap, but we're gonna try and get our things together and head out now. Hi guys, so it is the next day in Paris. We had the most epic of lions because the bed was super, super comfortable and I just think I needed the sleep from the crazy move that we just did. So fully recover now. It's my mum's birthday today. So we're gonna have a nice day of pottering around Paris. It's probably gonna be quite a bit of food and wine involved. And yeah, we're gonna take you along. All right, so I'm doing an outfit of the day in the bathroom. I tried to do in the hallway, but it is super cramped with the mirrors and the covers and I just like all squished. So thought I'd do it here. You can't see everything, but you can see some of it. So this is just a little mini dress, which you can see there. It's just a little polka dot pattern with this cute little bow. Got this from ASOS. I will link everything if it's still in stock. And then just my trusty Chanel bag as well. So keeping it very simple, hopefully it's as warm as I think it's gonna be outside. Otherwise I might be a bit cold, um, but our hotel's quite central. So I should be able to just grab a jacket if it is a bit chilly. Honestly, we just got in the shade now, but it is seriously the nicest weather I have ever experienced coming to Paris, I think. It feels like it's July, um, but it's not, it's October. It's so warm and sunny, it's just amazing. Um, so we just got ourselves changed, ready for dinner, and it's a little bit early, but the restaurant that we've booked is kind of quite far. I think it's about a 50 minute walk. So I think we're gonna go for a coffee or a drink or something now. There are a couple of shops you want to go to on the way, and then we're gonna head to the restaurant. So we just stopped by Cafe Marley to grab a couple of glass of champagne and some desserts and taking this amazing view. If you guys come to Paris, this is honestly the best raspberry tart I've ever had. Do you agree? It's really good. It has lemon curd as well, so it has like a little bit of sharpness. It's just so good. Overpriced, but delicious. Yeah, we're just having um, some cocktails in the lounge bar. Um, this is in the hotel, and it's absolutely beautiful. We came here last night as well, and it's so, so stunning. Look at that ceiling. It just, video does not do it justice, but it's so pretty here. 
Oh my goodness. It's pretty empty. Um, so I just went for a um, champagne cocktail, which is called Sweet Melody. It has passion fruit and berries and all kinds of stuff. And my mum went for a cognac and a cappuccino and I spiced some chocolates there as well, which I'm very excited about. They also give you these little cucumber waters, which are delightfully refreshing. So <laughs> we're gonna enjoy these now before heading up to the room. All right, so it is another day and we're about to head out. I thought I'd do a quick outfit of the day in the lift. So I'm just wearing some sandals, if you can see that. This long black dress, I almost just fell over there. And my center is back. So we are right by the Eiffel Tower. See this amazing view and I always try and stop here and take a photo because for me this is the best angle because it's so difficult to get a good photo. I got so many questions last time so I thought I would share that the street we're on is this one and it's on a corner. So it's on the corner of here. I'm not going to try and pronounce it but hopefully you can see that. And if you just stand right where the zebra crossing is then let me walk. You have to be a bit careful of traffic but you have the most amazing view of the Eiffel Tower. So cute. I think I'm gonna get these for Dan's mum. This is our favorite section. They have these, which are so, so good. <gasps> I'm probably going to go to town a little bit here. <laughs> So we have our champagne. We are doing the champagne afternoon tea. I feel like I really need to whisper here because it's so quiet. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful here. It's kind of like a greenhouse conservatory. But yeah, I, I do feel like I need to whisper and I don't even know why, but. So the afternoon tea just arrived and the French aren't that big on the savory because there's literally two little sandwiches and some salmon things and the rest is cake. But that's great because we like cake, so all types of good stuff here we had dessert here the first night and it was amazingly good so we are looking forward to these i think i actually spot what we had i think we had bigger versions of this one and this one they were absolutely delicious and then you have lots of little jams here i'm not sure what you're supposed to put the jams with to be perfectly honest but in case you just want more fruit flavoring i guess and then we're just waiting on the teas and then we'll be ready to dig in I went for the vanilla and rose tea, I think, and my mum went for the jasmine tea, is that right? Yeah. So we did pretty well, we almost managed to finish it, but we were defeated by these last four little cakes. It was deceptively filling. When we first saw it, we were like, oh, we'll be able to manage that, but they were really, really filling, so we can't quite manage the last four, but we're gonna package those up and take them up to our room to have later, but it was so, so good. As you can see, everything else has completely been polished off. It was absolutely delicious. All right, we found where we're gonna go. That was pretty much the quickest trip ever to Louis Vuitton. We didn't have any of the bag that Hannah, my sister-in-law, wanted, so they pointed us towards Gallery Lafayette. So we're heading there now. I haven't been ages, so I'm actually quite excited. I don't think my mum's ever been, so it's right in front of us and it's amazing.
right, so success at Louis Vuitton, finally. I don't think I've ever had a more stressful luxury shopping experience, albeit it was quite nice in the end, but trying to get it was really difficult. And all she wanted, my sister-in-law says, was a nerve ball. She's been trying to get one for a while. I think they were all sold out in Manchester, couldn't find one online, not much luck in London. And so we said we'd try in Paris, but they were all sold out at the first main big Louis Vuitton store we went to. And then they suggested we try Gallery Lafayette. So we did that and there was the longest queue ever. Um, so instead of queuing, which I don't know how long that would have taken, we just went to the front and asked them if they could check stock before we queued. And they were nice enough to do so and they said they didn't have one, but we might have more luck at Printemps, where they said they had one on the system, but they couldn't guarantee it. So we legged it over and again, another really long queue. So we just went to the front and asked again and they were nice enough again to check. And they said that they did have in stock. So we managed to get the last one. I've got to say it was really good service. I feel like Louis Vuitton can sometimes be a little bit iffy, um, but they were really good. Just very nice, very helpful to give a champagne. It was just really good. So very happy we were able to get it. And we're now in an Uber. We're kind of stuck in rush hour traffic a little bit on our way to another store that I want to go to. And then I think we're just going to head back and take our time and walk along. Alright, this is what we want. Basically, they they don't serve wine by the glass, but they serve it to you by bottle, but you only pay for what you drink. So I have a sneaky suspicion this is a way to get you to drink the entire bottle yourself. So we'll see how much is left. I have the white, my mum has the red. <laughs> Let's hope there's some left, otherwise we'll probably be crawling out of here. <laughs> Main course has arrived, we're expecting some kind of greens, but they don't do that here, so that's okay. There's meat and fries, but that's okay. So I wanted to show you what I bought. This was entirely inspired by my bag chat group. Everyone is going on about this brand of bags. So I decided to check them out. I thought they were so cute. The store is adorable. It's just a really small little boutique. They only have three styles bag, I believe. Um, and I fell in love with the smallest one. The staff were really friendly and helpful as well. I thought this was so cute. It's just a little handheld one. I got this in, it's kind of a nude beige color, so it's very neutral. They do have like a tan color and a pink. They have a ton of colors, but I thought this one was really pretty. You have just a little stamping right there, and then you just hold it like so. You have the gold hardware, which is so nice, and then it just opens up like so. It just about fits my phone. It is a bit of a tight squeeze so this is definitely a minimalist handbag or one for the evening but I just loved it. I thought it was so nice and the price was really reasonable as well. Very very happy with my purchase. So that is it for our trip to Paris and this video we're about to check out now and head to the station to catch the Eurostar but I wanted to let you guys know that I am going to have a blog post going live which is going to have all my tips and recommendations for Paris because I always get so many questions about that so if you're planning a trip to Paris then I will link that down below so you can check it out and if you have any questions then let me know down below. Thank you for watching guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye.